everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is studio vlog, summer studio vlog number four. I'm really proud of myself for keeping up with this for four weeks in a row. I'm so happy that you're here. Today on this vlog, we are going to be doing a little bit of business organization and then working a lot on a painting. I'm excited to share this with you. I did lose a little bit of footage, as in I probably just wasn't recording some of the stuff that I did in the morning to get some of my business stuff done, but I'm totally okay with this being more of a painting video because I'm pretty sure that's what we all like to do more anyway. Thank you so much for being here. Sit back and relax and I will see you guys in a little bit. Starting my day with a little bit of coffee as always. I love having a little shot of espresso to start the day, usually a few more as it goes on. And this morning I am working on setting up a little filing system for myself. I really want to get my business more organized so that I'm ready for taxes. I have all of the documents and everything that I need. So I went to Target and picked up some folders. I actually have this little spot in my desk for a hanging file system. So I set that up. I'm organizing all of my receipts here into a little receipt organizer. I'm so happy to have this organized now. I had been just keeping stuff in a regular little folder. That's what I did last year and it was okay, but I already have so much more volume of receipts and orders and papers and it feels so good to have it organized. It has come for us to paint. Really proud of myself for getting my business stuff organized. Well, let me show you my canvas. This is what we're getting started on today. This is a good size, I believe. Oh yeah, this is 18 by 18. So we are going to paint on this a grapefruit slice. It's kind of random, but I, I've been working from, from photos, kind of doing practices for uh, commissions and things. And the square like format was like stumping me. And I, I have, I have three of these. Um, they're the nice, like thick canvases that I really like. I've had them for a long time. And I was looking at reference photos and saw some cool like fruit and stuff. And I thought that would be a cool decorative painting that I think would be fun and interesting for me, but also not too challenging. I think if I do, if I do like markets and do this like collection that I'm planning to sell like it would be a cool bright piece that I would like I think other people would like um and just to get away from like only doing flowers all the time because I love flowers but I want to incorporate other things that fit a similar vibe and style but just give it a little bit more variety so we're gonna do a grapefruit slice I made a little study let me grab it I was thinking an orange slice at first, but looking at the reference photos, oranges are just so orange and grapefruits have a lot more variety in the color. You get like almost to like a red um, on the outside where you have like a whitish pinkish and more of a yellowy orange. Like you have this variation that I think will make it any more interesting painting. My reference photo that I have, I'll put a picture of it up here. I took a photo from Pexels, downloaded it. Um, and then cropped it down to be a square. It wasn't a square picture of this orange. I think it was like a bigger, cropped much larger and with like two of them or something like that. Um, anyway, so I was playing with this to get an idea of the colors and stuff. I kind of ran out of time. This, this is just a canvas panel that I got at my local craft reuse supply store for $1. So I figured these would be great to use for studies and stuff like that. So. I feel good about this. I'm going to use the same colors that I used for this to get this painting started. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and put in some blue for the background too to start layering in the background. So let me angle, angle you guys a little bit better and we will start painting.
Okay, it looks better. It looks better now than it does up close. Okay, so like looking at it in my tiny camera, it's like it's really far away and it's not too terrible, but this is giving painting with a twist. This is not good. Um, yeah, so we're going to <laughs> not deal with that right now. I think, I think that it's recoverable. I think that we need to like get in the hyper realistic details. I don't know. I think it definitely needs more layers and stuff too. Like my paintings are always going to go through kind of a weird, like ugly phase, but I think with it also being like a, like super bright colors, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I think it'll, I think it'll get better. We can't look at that right now. What we are going to do though is test out my wastewater collection thing. Okay. Let's play with this. This is the Crash Paint Solids wastewater cleaning system. It is made by Golden and I got it from Blick. It um, came in a box and then all of this and as well as this bucket was in the box and I've been collecting my acrylic paint water for probably like two weeks, like two weeks, maybe three. Um, so I'm going to finish cleaning these brushes. I think it'll be good for that painting for me mentally to start over with a new palette, clean my brushes, um, like get new brushes and everything. So this is perfect because this bucket is now getting full. You can see that how it's almost at the top. So um, first I'm just gonna clean all these brushes really good, put them over here to dry, and then we'll test out the system. I've never used it before. This will be my first. issues that I already have with this system thing is this bucket that you want to collect the water in. This lid is like really hard to get on and off. Um, like I've gotten it on and then it was really hard to get it off. Um, so I've kind of just been leaving it open. Um, but my plan is to, instead of collecting the water in here, um, to collect it in um, some like half gallon bottles. I got some super cheap funnels um, so that I can collect it in bottles. That way it will fully close. I don't need to worry about um, like having this open in here because I just worry that this will spill. Um, but then what I'll do is whenever I have two of those full, because this is a gallon bucket, um, I'll have two half gallons full of paint water. I'll pour them in here to do my process. Okay, this is the neutralizer solution. This is two, so it's the second one. And this is crash solution. First step in removing solids from paint water, stir in one fluid ounce per gallon of wastewater. Wait 10 to 15 minutes before adding solution two. We can do that. Cool, so pretty simple. I filled up my gallon bucket. I am going to squeeze one ounce of number one in there let it sit for 15 minutes and then um, squeeze number two into there, stir it up and let it sit for about 45 to 60 minutes. So um, I'll set timers for both of those and then we'll do the filtering thing a little bit later. Um, also, once I get this like draining into the filter thing, it says to leave it overnight. So that'll be good that I can set it up in this corner of my studio and I won't need to like mess with it. just added the number two solution off camera. It's working. You can already see it separating. Very exciting. I'm gonna let this sit for 45 minutes and take another look.
I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this color. It's funny because this orange looks so bright, but then putting it onto this canvas because it's so bright, it just looks almost brown. It's really crazy. This is straight up brown. Like that is brown. Okay. I think that this, yeah, I mean, this is definitely going to be too dark, um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and still put in this dark brown all around the edges because it does get really dark. Um, I think I'm just going to go over it again with a red, but I think maybe having this as a base will, will be nice and give it some depth And because if this kind of showed through just a little bit and like the cracks between the brush strokes I think that could be really nice and interesting because having that neutral dark color would be kind of unexpected I think I just I do need to tone down the colors here but I think I just overcompensated and went too neutral with it but that will be good having this underneath and then having um the brighter colors layered on top my water is ready to put in the filter so let me say I'll have to watch that anyway um it's definitely pretty clear on the top so the next step is going to be to filter it through one of these filters into this clear bucket um it says to wet it with um, a spray bottle or you can just put it in the sink but I do use a spray bottle for my paintings to have one right here bottom is definitely stuck so I think we're good and then we're just gonna pour this in that's it look at this clear water how cool is that look how much better this is looking I'm really liking it now. I haven't gone in and added the highlights. Um, it's definitely looking darker and duller on camera, but I really like how this is looking. I worked on this for a long time today. It's crazy that I started this today. Usually I'm not a one day painting person. It's not done. Um, but I've made so much progress on this and it's a pretty big piece for me. So I'm really happy with the progress on this. It's been a really good day. Um, I like how the painting's coming out. We were so productive this morning and I'm just feeling really good about the progress that I've made today. I need to clean up my brushes and clean up the house and the kitchen a little bit before I go pick up Caroline. But Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I think this was a really, really good one, so I hope that it makes a good video. Hey guys, it's me again. It is two days later, it's Thursday now, and I just wanted to show y'all how that grapefruit slice piece really finished up and got resolved because I'm really, really happy with um, what it's looking like now. Um, I was frustrated with it at first. I wasn't sure if it was something worth sharing or if I needed to just stop. So I kind of stopped recording. Um, I had put that initial layer, it was too bright. And then I felt like the marks that I made after that were too dark. So I stopped and let it dry. But as I continued adding layers, it really started coming together, filling in the background with a more neutral color, 
I think made it pop more in a more realistic way. Um, let me grab it and I'll show y'all what it's looking like now. I definitely consider this piece finished now. Um, and I'm really happy about it because I posted a picture of it on my Instagram story and I got a lot of really sweet like comments and likes and stuff, which is not something that I get all the time on my Instagram stories. So it must have like, people must have really liked it to have reached out to me. So thank you guys so much for reaching out. Let me grab it. This is what it is looking like now. And I'm so happy that so many of y'all liked it too. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I wanted to leave it here with an actual completed painting instead of leaving you hanging whenever it's done anyway. Um, but thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I, it really means a lot to me that people have been watching these and coming along with me. So if you have been watching and enjoying these, definitely like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you want. Leave me a question. And I will see you guys in the next one.